You look really stupid. Oh, shut up. Any oh, yes. Anyway, um, this is Vampirism. <laughs> uh, the first time playing on this server, it's something. I'll just say that. So, just a quick introduction. I'm a vampire, as you might be able to tell from the bottom right, where my hunger bar is now blood. And Katie is a vampire hunter. But, um, basically, the whole series is going to be about Katie trying to kill me and me trying to take control of the village Katie protects. So, yeah. Right. Let's grab our stuff and go. Okay, guys, so I've been working for a while now. I've been working on building a base for everyone to enjoy. And I think I've come up with something all right ish and it's our first base it's the cottage so yeah we're gonna have we've got some of these like tombstones dotted around everywhere just so that we stay a little bit like vampire ish so i'll give you a quick tour so we have our like little kitchen I mean, there really isn't much to tour but we have a little kitchen we have a storage area you know and then upstairs we have two coffins and it says you can only sleep during the day which is kind of cool because usually in Minecraft you can only sleep during the night and as it is night right now I thought why don't we go and try and show you this thing at the back so basically this is what we call the altar of inspiration and this is the thing that allows us to level up from level one to four so if I just you know, quickly run through here. I feel like I've lost my books. Where's the book? I don't know. I've lost the book. Hold on, I'll find it in a second. Ah, found it. Right, here we go. So. If I just show you guys, if you click on the vampire, so it's this one here, and then you click on leveling, it tells you, it gives you a thorough guide on how to go from level 1 all the way to level 4, and it can completely tell you how to, well, finish leveling up, but we are definitely, definitely not rich enough to be getting all of that done, because considering we don't even have leather armor, we are quite broke. So I'm just going to put this in the sort of chest, along with everything else. So, let me just show you guys how this works. So, when you collect um, bottles, like glass bottles, oh no. <laughs> get away, get away, get away. Oh my lord, get away, get away, get away. Go away please, thank you. Right, back to the video. If you have some glass bottles in your inventory, which I don't think I have enough glass to show you, unfortunately. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, if you can craft them into glass bottles, then you... If you start like drinking as a vampire, so like extracting blood from other uh, creatures, if your thirst bar is full and you like drink the blood, it'll go into these bottles and they will be called blood bottles. Then using those blood bottles, you can oh, well, you can fill up the altar of inspiration. And once it gets to a certain level, you right click and boom, you're now the next level. It's a bit more complicated once you get past level 4, but, you know, that'll be a completely different video. So, um, I'm going to wait for it to turn day so we can find some animals to get the blood from. But, meanwhile, I'm going to go and collect some glass for us to use in crafting the blood bottles. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, crafting the last one, and here we are. So, we have 13, oh, 39 glass bottles, which we can now use for our experiments you could call them oh no it's daytime right well we need to go around and try and find some animals 
any animal would do apart from chickens, unfortunately. I guess because they're too small. I don't really know why, but chickens just aren't good enough for us. So we need to try and find some other animals for us to steal blood from and use in our very own skill levelling up. So... Where are they? I mean, bees, unfortunately we can't drink from bees either. So... Oh, wolves we can, yes, but... Oh god, I'm so sorry, doggy. Ah! I see it now. Oh, stop moving. Stop moving. Ugh, it's a pain in the butt when I get drink from dogs. Let me just drink from here. Fill up a few of these bottles and I'll show you what I mean. And there we have it guys, we are now level 2 vampire. So we just have to repeat this process, well, two more times. And I definitely don't have enough blood in that cauldron. So fortunately though, this guy has just turned up. And I can, well, drink from both of these two alarmers. So if I just go into here, no, into my inventory, and I grab some glass bottles, we can begin the process of doing this whole leveling up thing all over again. Oi, go away. You might be trying to depend for buddy, but it's not going to work, mate. Okay, so apparently after taking down both of those llamas, we are still ever so slightly short on blood. So, are there any nearby creatures I can feed on? Hmm. I mean, there's some lava down there. Oh, and also, I need to show you guys what happens when I die as a vampire. So, normally, if you die as a Minecraft player, you will, well have to respawn find all your loot come back come back and then you can continue on with your day but if you're a vampire and you try and 
die. This might be a very slow process. This is probably going to take forever. I don't know why I just don't find a bigger hill. Right, I'm just going to try and find a bigger hill. Aha! There we are. We're just going to continuously do that. Three hearts left. And... Oh, come on. Goodbye. So now you can see you are down and I hit the ground too hard. But you can see there's two options. I can give up or I can resurrect. And now this might take a little bit of time, but I'm able to come back from the dead right where I died, in quotation marks. And I keep on my loo, all my XP, absolutely everything. It's sort of as if I just never died. And here we are. Here's the option. And then we can resurrect. And back in all of our glory, we are back completely. What is this? No, no, at all. Oh, right. Completely forgot. So if you die, you lose all of your thirst and you lose basically all of your vampirism or vampiric. Oh no. Uh oh. Come here, Wolf. I'm so sorry, but I need I need to drink from you, considering I am about to die. Oi, stay still. Please, I hate drinking from wolves. Alright, mate, stay still. Oh, for God's sake. Is there anything else? Leaves. Is there anything else I can possibly drink blood from? Anything. Seriously? Okay, this is now a very long, tedious process of completely draining all of these animals of their blood to, well, gain back full thirst and collect the final blood bottle I'll need to level up to level 3. Okay, we've got the last cow right here, and then we'll be completely done with draining all of these cows, unless another one spawns, but I'm not going to drain it, I can't be bothered. Right, let's head back to the base and I'll show you guys how many I actually managed to get. Oh my lord, there's two cows left. I'm not doing any of this. So, um, just as a quick heads up, I managed to get a decent amount. I mean, I had a bit of a glitch happen where they just started spawning brand new blood bottles because I wasn't holding it in my hotbar. But that's perfectly fine. We are going to head back to the base and just hope, pray almost, that this is enough blood. Because if it isn't, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, we're doing better than Katie is, though. Because, I mean, I don't even know how she levels up, so that can be something else that we can check out. Is it easier for her? Is it easier for me? What's going on? Am I doing better than her? Whatever. But before we do that, let's have a quick... Filling of the cauldron ceremony. That has to be more than enough. Yes! Ooh, level three. We've unlocked an extra two hearts. Now I'm just gonna deposit the rest of the blood into here because I may have gotten a lot. So. Here we are. Just some nice glass puzzles. Right, we've finished that. Definitely not enough to level us up to level four. It needs to be a completely full cauldron to level up to level four. Now we're just gonna deposit the rest of this stuff. And aha, oh. Aha, right, vampir uh, vampirism guide. So, we're gonna, uh, Hunter, leveling. 
So after you after becoming a vampire hunter, you probably want to reach higher levels. Oh, blah, 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 we don't care. So you have to collect some vampire blood by killing normal vampire NPCs with a stake. Oh, that's not pleasant. So basically, vampire NPCs are sort of like zombies, as in they spawn at night time. But Katie then has to stab them with a stake and collect vampire fangs, I believe it was. Uh, oh no, one vampire blood, five vampire blood, 12 vampire blood. Ouch. Okay, that's really sad, but the only problem is she tends to be way stronger than me in the sense that, well, she gets a bunch of swords. So if I just go into here, Oh, it doesn't show you, but... Oh, well, she gets a bunch of, like, fancy swords that she can use to then kill me, and I don't get a single one, I don't believe. Anyway, if I do, that's kind of cool, but... Anyway, we need to level up once more in order to get the final, final level before we can then head off and spy on Katie, wherever she is, because she's not on the server right now. So, let's go. So, um, I just had Katie email me the coordinates of her village, as the entire point of the series is for me to, well, destroy said village. So just give me a heads up, because this world is 25,000 blocks by 25,000 blocks. So if I just manually search for it, I'd probably be spending a couple days so I'm just heading back now with oh my I forgot every single one of the glass bottles I'm going to have to come all the way back now all right so I managed to get the glass bottles back after quite a long trip home because I may have gone the wrong way back to to my base i may have completely gone the wrong way but we're here now so that's what matters so we've got our glass bottles i am on one first part this is not very good we really need to try and find her oh no i have nausea and weakness now from being in the sun uh oh okay this isn't good so one of the well weaknesses of oh no cow get here please one of the weaknesses of being a vampire is the stronger you get, the more damage you take, like the sun. So I believe when you are level four, you actually take damage to the sun. Like from being in the sun, you can just die. Whereas this, you sort of just get a bit nauseous and weak. Anyway, we are going to just go around searching for some more cows. Oh, stop moving. And then fill up a few more blood bottles so I can get to the requirement for level four and then i can show you why i've been focusing so much on leveling up in the first episode i think i just found an animal spawning chunk because i've been searching for a while now and oh no oh no get under the tree but like literally there's sp oh 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 dear oh dear lesson learned do not use optifine with nausea right anyway so like I was saying, spawn is literally right there, and I just found like a bunch of animals to collect blood from. After probably about 15 minutes of trying to search, we've finally got everything we're going to need, apart from the fact that I'm going to get nauseous now. Oh dear. Well, that is why I'm very excited to try and craft an umbrella, because I can use the umbrella. It does make me slightly slower. But I can use the umbrella to then traverse in daylight without getting any of the bad side effects. So this is... Oh, that's the last pig. No, that's the last cow. Oh dear. Right, well, don't die from the nausea. Oh, not again. Right, that's enough. I'm going I'm going back home. 
we are back at the house so I'm just gonna start filling up this altar um, oh no I, th I mean I did leave some blood bottles inside just for an emergency but we really need this to you know fill up why are you taking forever to okay right here we go There's not enough blood in the altar, right? I'm gonna go and get these emergency ones. And the last two blood bottles we're gonna need. Oh, there we go. Completely empty. Oh, and here we are. Left. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh lord. Maybe standing under a tree isn't the best option. But anyway, we are now level 4, and as you can probably tell, we take damage from being in the daylight because we are getting quite powerful now. So I'm going to just head inside of, inside of the cottage, and yeah. So we've now got level 4. We have more thirst, as you can see, like it looks like reinforced blood or something down, down in the bottom right. And we now have, well, we now have ability to become a bat i'll show you what it does so if you do, hold down r we've now i've got regeneration which was from level three we've got infect and toggle bat mode so if i toggle bat mode we can fly around unfortunately though as soon as i take a step outside if i show you as soon as i take a step outside you cannot fly at daytime so we're gonna have to wait until it's night time before we go to Katie's or are we? Considering these are coffins we can just hop right in them and sleep the night, the day away. Right I'm bringing a blood bottle with me, one that I had left over from the cauldron. I'm bringing a blood bottle with me. Let's go. So I'm going to hold down R and then I'm, or whatever your keybind is. If you're following along whatever your keybind is to open up the action wheel you hold down that and then you click on the one that you want to do and now I'm a bat and we can literally fly around so I'm gonna head off to Katie's so I'll see you in a bit so I've only just noticed but I've been flying for maybe what well I've been flying for a little bit I'm only about 500 blocks away from where her base is supposed to be but I've only just noticed my blood is well my thirst is going down very quickly and what is that what is that oh it's an abandoned ship oh dma uh oh oh no 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 this cannot be happening Wait a minute, there is a chest down here, I don't know. <gasps> so much coal. And two moth blocks. Right, we'll be keeping those. Alright, let's not do that again then. So, we are not that far away actually her base should be like right there in front of us and I'm just gonna drink this blood bottle right now oh I can't drink it as a bat that's great we are I've, we found it so this is the village 
Now I'm just going to revert back to my normal self, drink this blood bottle, and then start stealing it from the villager. Not killing any of them. Okay, we'll leave you like that. Oh, no, 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 no. He knows that I'm a vampire. And therefore, it's trying to kill me. Oh, no, 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 I forgot about this. Are you going to try and kill me? Oh, dear, you're going to try and kill me as well. This is a horrible mistake. Let's fly with the bat. Go, go. Okay. We need to try and... I mean, we've got a full blood bottle. It's going to be perfectly fine. But I'm wondering where she lives. She said I won't find it, so... Oh, look, we've seen it now. It seems like we've made a heck of a lot more progress than she has. So I'm going to catch you guys in the second episode. I'm going to leave it off here. Leave any ideas of what to do next down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.